All right, guys, probably the coolest colorway that Sujis has come out with for this style chronograph has got to be this one. Weirdly enough, I'll put a link in the description down below. I couldn't find it on the Sujis site. I had to go to Seastern's site, and it's over there. Now, I know they're sister companies and everything, but, like, it says Sujis on the dial. Why wouldn't it be on the Sujis site? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> At least I provided you with a link for the direct sale. These are, like, 200 bucks. They're almost always on sale. They're 200 bucks. Has the uh, Siegel ST1901 uh, Swan Neck Chronograph in it. Uh, 29 joules. Beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. All that good stuff. Uh, but just cool, fun-looking watch at a crazy affordable price. My, my first one that I picked up was this guy here. And this one was really cool. I really like this colorway. But then this one just came out. They're call, they call this one Teal Blue. I don't know. I think I would have come up with a different name. But um, anyway, whatever. They call it teal blue. And it has the same hands. If you look, it has the same hand set, same chronograph hand. Um, they just gave it a different dial color. But it looks dramatically different. It looks awesome. And the leather strap that it comes on, also very comfortable feeling. But I'm going to switch up at one point because the strap habit, leather strap, just so happened to be released right about the same time I had this watch. And that, that is a perfect, perfect match. So I'll, I'll show you that one in a minute. 40 millimeter case, 50 mil lug to lug, 13.2 millimeter thick, uh, double dome sapphire crystal, 20 millimeter lug width, 6.5 millimeter signed with the Suja Star non screw down crown, 50 meter water resist. Boom. There you go. That's it. That's everything, right? What more do you want to know? Let's take a closer look at it, I guess. We could do that. So there we go with that lightning bolt, chronograph hand going, and yes, it does line up. You know, I know when I did the unboxing, it was off center, but it just needed to be, boom, snap back, reset. So just a good, clean looking watch, man. I don't really have any complaints on it. Full polished case, very fun to see that movement. I know it's not like a high grade movement or anything like that, but it's still just fun to see. You know, and you could regulate it yourself too. Swan neck ones are a little bit easier to do, although these perform great on the time grapher. It's a manual wine only, so you got to see all the gears. And you can even, like for stopping and starting, you can kind of see the, the mechanical on that column wheel right there. So, and then if you stop it and snap it back, it just snaps right back. That was a really soft push on that too. Interesting. So let's zoom out. I'm going to show you on my wrist with the strap that they provide, which I legit do think it's a nice strap. It's very comfortable, it matches the watch well. It's ready to go out of the box. It doesn't even need any breaking in. But let me show you quick release spring bars. So easy to swap out. Let me show you this strap on here because I think it looks great. Now this one, the strap had been one, a little bit stiffer feeling, but I started playing with it just a little bit to uh, get it to like contour and break in a little bit. I don't think it'd be too difficult to get this one to contour. It's already starting to do it and I only kind of fiddled with it for like a minute or so. But there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Very bright, good, fun summer colors. And then, you know, come fall time, switch it up, throw the brown one on, good to go. So I'll put a link to Strap Habit down below too. I usually don't combine companies all in one video, but I just, I couldn't help myself on this one. It was just, the timing of it was so cool and the, the pairing of it and the matching of it was so good. Uh, let's give it a quick loom shot. I'm not expecting miracles here, so let's find out together. Yeah, I mean, the hour, minute hand, a little bit brighter than the markers. Um, it's adequate. It's not like a dive watch, so we're not going to have like in-your-face loom for days or whatever like that. But it's there. It's good. I mean, I've seen a lot worse, I'll tell you that. So I would put it like middle of the road, you know, like 6 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.